Well, hello there. Coming at you again from the truck, I see. That's about the only time I get a minute to myself and you guys to talk to you. I've had students. This is busy time of year. I've got students at the field right now waiting. But I thought I would talk to you about something that I need to talk to them about. And I'll probably continue this video on the field. But it's operating at airports. Let's just go ahead and have the whole discussion, why don't we? First, let me run in here and grab this poison. Little plug for Taylor's Feed and Farm Supply. This video is not brought to you by them, but I could ask while I'm in there. <laughs> okay, and poison is in the back. Let's talk about how to approach an airport. Now, there's two different kinds of airports in this world or in this country. We're talking USA rules. You got public and you got private. And I approach each of those a little differently. First off, you gotta look at the airport that you wanna fly at. And why do you wanna fly there? Is it just because it's an airport? If you got a gigantic farm, within a few miles of the airport, you may want to pick that if it's a busy airport. Is it busy? That's the first question. If it's a busy airport, you got to be real cautious about operating a part 103 craft there because we're slow and we're in the way. We're not supposed to be, but some people think we aren't, especially when it's a crowded situation. If you get a bunch of people involved, if there's management and if there's other pilots and, and many, many operations going on, it, sometimes that's that may not be the airport to use. I'm in a lucky situation where my airport is occupied by me, mostly. I'm there more than anybody else in this world. Hell, I do the part of the maintenance for free out there. That's just, that's just my contribution to my local airport because I like it out there. We get to train. I've been on good terms with the last three managers that we've had. I've been friends with all of them, but that's my airport. My airport is pretty lonely. There's you know, a few operations, but you got to approach it the same way. Everybody, public or private, that's ever let me operate at the airport. Now, public don't have to exactly let you, but when I contact a public airport for permission, I would really like it to go something like this. I look up the number. Hello, Joe Blow, airport manager. Hey, Joe, Callow here. Can I fly my paramotor at your airport? Hell no, we don't like those things. Click. We have problems with those guys in the past. No, that's not exactly how I would do it. I would call, hey, Joe, manager of the airport. Like, yes, sir, I'll be coming in there tomorrow with a powered glider on a truck. I'd like to know, is there a gate and do I need a code to get in? Where would you like me to set up and where can I park my vehicle once I'm set up? And leave it at that. You know, if he has questions, don't tell any lies, but you're bringing a powered glider in there on a truck. Whether or not they think it's sailplane, and I can't claim to be the originator of this tactic, but a highly skilled pilot taught me this, and it's always seemed to work. I've gotten almost every airport I've ever asked about. Now, if I'm approaching a private airport owner, the conversation, I like to go a little differently. I don't want to be deceiving in any way at all, but I will call and say, hey, yeah, I see you have an airport there. I live nearby. Do you allow other people to use your airport? And see what they say. He might say, what you got, or yeah, or hell, Oh, no, we don't like your kind. Gate code. I know the gate code here. I teach the students how to find the gate code too. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Trade secret. You know what I'm talking about. If you're in the know, you know. But when you get to an airport, you gotta make way for the airplanes. Don't park in front of hangars. Don't park way out there in the middle of the ramp. Unless it's a custom, like if, if your airport people do something a certain way, they've all got their intricacies. But at no point should you be operating just joy riding around the taxiways or the runway environment especially you should make your move pull off to the side park in a nice neat single file on one side of the taxiway or near an fbo or just whatever the management says that's what you want to do you want to do what the management says you know they'll tell you how to do it that's what you ask i see y'all guys over there we're talking about airport operations today they made the video probably but i'm looking around for aircraft i don't want to park in front of a hangar i don't want to park in front of a taxiway I want to be out of the way. That's where I want to be, and that's where you want to be. I'm approaching out here on a taxiway now, and I'm looking. I'm looking for airplanes. I got a, I got a com in the trailer. I'll pull it out whenever we get. If our aircraft comes over once a week, we got to take it out and be like, hey, yo, hey, yo, <laughs> this is Kyle. And they're like, yeah, hey, Kyle. It's just usually somebody know me. No, I tell them, you know, Spring Hill traffic. We have paragliders near the windsock on the field. No one's airborne. Their vehicle's parked next to the taxiway near the windsock. You know, I just give them the inf information. You know, the active is clear. It's all yours, Spring Hill traffic. And I just, I just tell them who we are, what we're doing, just so they know. If they see gliders and windsocks and cars, they may be reluctant to come down. They may be, where's he at? But if you let them know, hey, there's no pilots in the air. We're operating out here 
on the turf. You want to do the common traffic advisory frequency. Wow, I got it draining good out here. I wonder how dry it is. I'm going to check it all out. Sorry, I get distracted. I've been doing some work out here on the airport and i'm looking for high dry spots we're gonna be doing probably some launches landings and such so i'd rather somebody go long than short if it's east or northeast this will give us a really good area to operate from damn some old boy coming right it up my own lawnmower one of them lawnmower boys this morning he done went through the mud i'm gonna go out here and walk him. You don't want to put vehicles peppered about at an airport. You want to park them all together in one spot. This probably gonna work here pretty dang good. There's a wire. I found a wire, that's FOD. I always pick up the FOD too. Speaking of that, you don't want to leave any foreign objects or unsecured objects, canopies that ain't tied down. You know, things that can blow out into an airplane and get sucked in a prop and cause damage. You want to police all that stuff, make sure it's put away. Don't be littering and throwing cigarettes and kicking rocks and for God's sake, don't track mud with your tires onto the runway environment or the taxiway. Those mud clods will get pulled up and they could damage aircraft. You gotta treat the airport for the aircraft. We're, we're just users of it, but, but there are real pilots with real planes and real expensive planes and jets that can suck rocks and then destroy their stuff. So you don't, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. I was looking at it, it's still a little bushy. I'm gonna go back up a hill. Just this morning, we had the city guys mowing this area. I wish they had just left it alone. I could mow this area. Yeah, in a field like this one, you wanna set up for the conditions that you're getting dealt. We're getting some north, some east. Go up here and see how wet it is up here. It's kinda of wet down here on the south end. We're not gonna utilize this end. We're gonna go up here. We had a heavy rain yesterday. We had a lot of heavy rain. That's something that we need to account for right now light 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 winds but thermal activity abounds but that's the skinny on airport etiquette and operations keep it tight and neat stay in good communication don't ask permission but do ask procedure always ask procedure when we're dealing with a busier airport or one with a manager available ask them how do how would you like me to come into the gate where would you like me to park? I'd like, I'm gonna be bringing in a glider on a truck. I'll need to set it up and do what they say. And then they have a lot harder time saying, you know, no, we don't like your kind here. And that'll get you a lot further along. And then when you're flying there and if they're watching you, don't do anything stupid. You can't ever do anything stupid when you're in the public eye at an airfield. You will get kicked out. And all your friends, for the future friends of pilots, will get kicked out if you go acting stupid at an airport. I make a video about how to operate at airports, y'all, and like the etiquette and parking and set up on the field how to talk to prior public private all this different stuff i figured i'd record it and say it one time maybe it'd be useful for somebody oh y'all think the videos are helpful the, yeah. the playlist links yeah I've, I've watched them so far let me yeah. say you get more and more out of them I each just, time you each yeah. time you watch them so it's just i i only got started with yeah yeah i'm not expecting anybody to do a deep dive and all that bull it's all there it's all good stuff and some of it's speckled about some of it's not good stuff but maybe first half of the video is me like blade back bathing in dirt or something and then the last half is like me telling about something important so look at this is this good content i don't think it is i'm gonna turn this shit off y'all thanks for watching video much love kyle out